What's going on everyone? Just want to bring out this quick video talking about the 2025 Skidoos, the changes they've made, or this year haven't really made. Uh, it's, I kind of expected to see that this year. I wasn't expecting groundbreaking changes. You know, they can't have something every year. Over the last five years, we've had, uh, we've had some big improvements, especially with our mountain sleds. So I think they're just spreading some love throughout the lineup this year, which is fine. It also makes my spring order decision a little easier come that time. Here, the snow is deep. The friendship, deeper. The work, the thought, and the desire to innovate that went into our new 2025 models, deepest. I do find it a little odd that Skidoo tried to build so much hype around the release this year with their QR codes they wanted everyone to scan and all the ambassadors promoting that. Maybe they pushed the marketing so hard because they know people aren't really gonna be jumping the spring order this year, at least in my opinion, just with the lousy winter, the way the economy is, and just the way the used sled market is right now. And then they go and they still raise the prices of the new sled. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the prices of each sled, which you're not gonna see other uh, media guys talking about that because they get their, their skidoos given to them and you know they get invited to the releases. Not like me, I'm just over here and left out. <laughs> I'm only kidding, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about the sleds, what's new and the updated prices. Before we jump into model specific updates, just a general update for the whole skidoo line is sleds with the 10.25 inch display. Now finally, three years later, are gonna have GPS capabilities. So you don't have to connect your phone to get that map. That's a pretty big upgrade in my eyes. Unfortunately, no buddy tracking yet, but I wasn't really expecting that. If they do something there, I'd like to see it just be compatible with Polaris and Cat. So I'll stick to running my trail tech on my Skidoo so I could connect to my Polaris buddies, but still, Love the feature of being able to have the map right on screen there on that big display. And you can also upgrade your model year 23 and 24 to have that functionality. Let's start off talking about the free ride. And the first thing that is glaringly obvious is the color. Uh, <laughs> I never expected a yellow free ride. And when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that is gross. Cause it just looked like an off yellow, which it is an off yellow. So we'll have to see once we get more pictures of that, what we think of that flare yellow. But the free ride is finally available in two colors. It's also available in black this year. So people won't be as swayed to buy a certain model snowmobile just because of color. I, I know I've done it in the past where I've bought one sled over another just because of the color. Also the black free ride, I don't think you could get with the 850 NA, only the turbo. Then the other upgrade coming to the free ride is rack steering, which I don't really know how much of an upgrade that is. I think it's really, you're just gonna notice that on the trail or the hard pack snow. You're not gonna notice that when you're off in the deep snow. It just changes the geometry of the steering internally to make it a little easier, I believe. It doesn't change the angle of the steering post or anything like that. This year, the, the free ride is $500 more, um, just be because I don't think that rack steering is worth that $500 upgrade. The rack steering is also a pound heavier, so the free ride gets heavier yet again. For the Summit line this year, I don't think we have any upgrades to the Summit X, but the Summit Expert, we do get some new shocks. So that's cool to see because the, the Expert shocks, let's be real, they, they suck pretty bad. So we get some easy adjust, three setting, piggyback shocks. Now we're definitely gonna have some added weight there, unfortunately, but when it comes to suspension, if you're gonna add weight somewhere, that's kind of the only acceptable place to add it. The Expert has a shorter seat once again. I don't know how short they can make it before they just entirely remove the thing and have it built into the tank or something. I don't think there's gonna be much padding left there for those rough trail rides, but we're not sitting most of the time anyway, especially when the trail gets rough. I should also add the Expert is almost $1,000 more this year. That's, that's quite the jump. Um, I'm sure most of that cost is attributed to the shock package. Are they worth the $1,000? Hard to say, pr probably close to it. Then across the deep snow line, this is probably the most exciting update. They finally added some more meat to the drivers. So we're not gonna have, a, have as much track skip. I haven't seen them, so I don't know how much of a difference there's gonna be, but hopefully they added enough to alleviate the skipping problem. Then the trail sleds get a price increase as well, but they do get 
a pretty good upgrade to go along with that. They get RAS RX front suspension geometry. That'll reduce body roll by about 20%. I believe it's really just a new spindle. And then there's a new ski to pair along with that as well. It's got a deeper two-stage keel, which is no doubt gonna help with that cornering. The new Raz RX front suspension is focused on giving the most aggressive trail riders absolute confidence to create more predictability and stability in the corners. They set out to reduce chassis roll. A taller ski spindle inspired by the legendary MXZ RS race sled created a new flatter geometry for the A-arms and raised the sled's roll center closer to the center of gravity. This reduces the leverage the center of gravity has on the chassis and reduces body roll by an amazing 20%. Engineers also tilted the shock angle more and updated the sway bar linkage, which both contribute to increasing roll resistance, increasing the trail of the ski leg to the same spec as the RS, provides better straight line tracking and stability. Adding capacity to the already industry leading front suspension travel comes by the way of new curved arms and revised shock calibration. The increased suspension travel combined with the new calibration creates the optimal ride quality. A new aggressive two-step keel design with a longer lower portion adds positive ski bite for exceptional predictability on hard packed in the corners. The ski also has a large lateral contact area for better performance in a wide variety of snow condition and brings impressive grip in loose snow. Something kind of funny I want to mention quick is a certain media company, we're not going to mention any names here, but about seven days ago posted a review video of the MXZ competition package where they say, yep, we love this sled. The only upgrade we could see is needed in the front end department. Then surprise, surprise, Skidoo seven days later reveals their sleds, the 2025s, and there's that suspension upgrade. Uh, coincidence? I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that for you to decide. Then you backcountry guys get some love as well. You can get the 850 two-stroke turbo. I'm sure there's some guys stoked about that. Then also you have an available ski stance of the standard backcountry, which is like the 38 to 40, or you get the full trail width. I'm not sure why you want the full trail width if you're looking for a backcountry crossover snowmobile because having that wide front end takes a lot of the playfulness out of it when you go off trail. But that's pretty much all I got for you. If you think there's an important point I may have missed, because I'm sure I missed something, the release was just like an hour ago, drop it in the comments for everybody to see. Then I should also add, what am I going to spring order since I'm sure a couple guys will be asking. And I'm honestly not sure I'm going to. Like I said at the start of the video, there's not many upgrades this year. So it makes my decision a little bit easier. We could put a bit of money into our old sleds and pretty much update them to be exactly like a 25, maybe add some extra warranty so we're still covered and we're a lot farther ahead. Just with the, the drop in resale prices and the, the raise in new sled prices, it makes that decision to spring order a little harder. That's what we got for Skidoo this year. Players will be coming up soon and uh, maybe I'll talk about what I ordered for CAD at some point.